Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And yes, finally I made it to 25,000 subscribers. And thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for your support. And also I'd like to thank uh, Since Lab team for sending their uh, awesome pen tablet to me. And I'm using the same pen tablet for this tutorial too. And um, hopefully I'll make an in-depth review video for that pen tablet soon. So with that information, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a new composition. So for that control N, I will just go for uh, six by eight size. Just keep the resolution as 300 and everything as default. And let's click on create. And let's drag and uh, drop this image right over here. Let's convert it as a smart object. Control G. Let's make it a little smaller. Maybe right around here. Just keep it like that for now. And let's drag and drop another image right over here. And let's put it under. And same thing. Convert it as a smart object. Control G. Let's make it a little smaller. And maybe let's keep it maybe right over here all right now let's see uh, mm, 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 mm. let's drag and drop this image over here too and same thing convert it as a smart object control T let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's keep it right over here and let's do some adjustments so First, let's uh, turn that visibility off for this first layer. So, Control T. Let's do some warp, and let's maybe right over here. Maybe let's increase this. All right, Control T. Let's do some perspective too. Mm -hmm. Yep, maybe something like that and let's turn that on and let's do the same thing control G let's do some warp and yep yep something like that and let's add a perspective too so control T right click perspective let's do a warp too let's make this maybe something like maybe something like that you know what like let's keep everything just a little bit on the maybe somewhere around here and you know what let's drag and drop this image right over here and same thing let's convert it as a smart object control T let's make it a little smaller and maybe let's keep it right over here let's keep it under this layer under this layer control T yep yep something like that and let's make a copy control J control T let's flip it in other side Yeah, maybe let's keep it something like that and let's create a layer max go to brush and let's go for a hard brush and let's erase these parts and now let's drag and drop uh, this main image right over here and let's keep it right over here and same thing let's convert it as a smart object Control G let's make it bigger maybe right over here and let's move everything a little down maybe right around here and control T let's make it a little smaller here yep. something like that and let's do the same thing let's drag and drop another image right over here and for this one let's keep it right over here and control T let's make it maybe right around this size 
and let's drag and drop another image and let's make it a little bigger if yep. something maybe somewhere around here all right now let's add a solid color on the very bottom and let's give them a kind of darker color yep something like that and let's do some color adjustment so for uh, this layer go over here add a hue and saturation and this clip to layer and let's drop down the saturation just like so and let's do the same thing for this layer too create a new hue and saturation clip to layer and let's drop down the saturation right over here and let's do the same thing for this layer to create a new hue and saturation let's clip to layer and let's drop down the saturation maybe just like so and maybe luminance too and for this one too let's drop down the luminance Yep. now let's create a new layer and go to the brush and let's go for my favorite particle brush and let's add some uh, particle elements maybe just like so and let's do some rotation and let's drop down the opacity just like that and let's do some color adjustments so select this layer go to filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture let's drop down the highlights and let's increase the shadows and let's increase the noise reduction and increase the color noise reduction too and from here let's go to the saturation tab and let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's increase for for red just like that and let's keep everything as it is for now and let's click on okay and let's apply the same camera raw filter for this layer 7 so go over here apply the same camera raw filter and even for this one too go to filter let's apply the same camera raw filter and same thing for this layer too apply the same camera raw filter apply previous setting and let's increase the clarity yep something like that and let's do the same thing for this layer filter camera raw filter and let's apply a kind of similar effects and let's do it for the one on the very bottom very pack so select this layer go to filter let's apply the camera raw filter and let's go for the previous setting and for this one let's drop down the whites too and same thing for the other one so select this one apply camera raw filter and let's go for apply previous setting and let's click on okay so for this layer so let's drop down the saturation some more yep maybe something like that maybe let's add a new layer right over here and go to the brush and let's add some kind of particle effects and let's drop down the opacity go over here let's apply a color lookup and from here click on load and i'm gonna use this new till that so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and let's add some shapes so go to the very bottom layer and let's go over here add a rectangle and for the fill color let's go for a red one and let's add this rectangle Control t let's keep it right over here 
now let's add a, another shape so go over here add a custom shape and from here uh, let's go for this one so select this one and let's add one right over here and for this one let's go over to the fx go to the blending option and from here let's apply a pattern overlay so this is this is the pattern that i'm using let's keep the opacity as 100 and let's click on ok so if you guys don't know how to create this pattern then it's really simple let's uh, do that so Control n let's create a new composition and i'll just make two inches by two inches size let's click on create and from here let's uh, add a rectangle and let's make the rectangle black and Control t let's add a rotation and just like so let's increase the size and then let's make a copy alt and drag and let's make another copy alt and drag and then let's go to the edit and let's click on uh, define pattern so let's name this pattern as read so once you define this pattern then let's go over here and once you click on that pattern overlay you can see your grid patterns right over here so so select this one so click on ok and now from here let's drop down the opacity just like so and let's add some other extra text other extra shapes so go over here add a rectangle i'll just keep one right over here maybe let's change the field to white and let's drop down the opacity Control j let's make a copy Control t let's keep it keep one maybe right over here too and Control j Control t let's keep one maybe right over here all right let's keep this all the way to the bottom yep somewhere over here and now let's add some text keep it maybe right around here and let's control J let's make a copy control T let's keep one right over here and let's add another shape let's add one right over here and let's for this one let's keep this maybe on very top and let's change the color to kind of lighter color yep something like that and now let's add another text and control t let's make it bigger let's add a skew and maybe let's add a kind of little rotation yep something like that and let's make a copy control j control t let's keep one right over here and let's add a logo and let's see where is it And then let's add some uh, extra text. Control T, Control T, add a rotation. Control J, Control T, let's add one maybe right over here
and now let's minimize all this layer Control shift alt and e let's go to the filter let's go to the camera raw filter again and from here let's uh, drop down the highlights let's increase the clarity again let's increase the texture let's increase the saturation and from here let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's drop down for aquas and greens too and let's add a little bit of green just like so and let's add just decrease the vignetting just like so just a little bit and let's click on ok now let's add a one more layer and go to edit go to fill 50% gray let's change it to soft light and let's do some dozen burn so let's go for a dodge tool and let's add a dodge maybe right over here maybe some over here and maybe some right over here too and let's go for a burn tool and let's make it a little darker right over here right over here too and uh, let's do a final color balance let's increase the red and let's do it maybe let's make it something like that so that's the final and that's the wrap up for today's video and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video bye bye